everyone welcome to our small footprint today's video is a whole bunch of bits and pieces over the last couple of days and we got the uh, community hamper from the local place that does the community I suppose the class is a charity hamper I'm not sure but we pay a set fee each month and we get whatever we get in the hamper so it could be fresh fruit and veg it could be short dated foods it could be anything and everything some months it's really great for us and some months there's some stuff in there that's really not so great it always comes with a lot of frozen meals and especially those like single serve ones that you can microwave we don't use any of those we don't have a microwave but we also have eight people so they're kind of pointless but my mum lives alone and so I take them all to her when I go down and do my monthly grocery trip and then she has meals in the freezer for however long they last so they don't get wasted but I um, filmed the ham before you so you could see what we got as a end of month buffer to our grocery haul so it cost us $40 for the hamper so I'll show you that um, and then I had to do some cooking and stuff to use some of the stuff that came in the hamper up before I got going so I'm heading off tomorrow for my monthly grocery run so I did some prep and stuff today to make up for not going to be here for a couple of days so I am just bringing you along with all our usual day-to-day -day stuff so hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you again later Saturday morning I shaped the baguette dough that we that I had made the night before and left to prove overnight I'm still working on the texture of the baguette dough I really like the recipe but I think I'd like it a little heavier to be able to shape a little bit better maybe get a little bit more of a rise in each one but we really enjoy these they're they're great to eat as sandwiches or as chunks of bread with soup or anything like that they're a very versatile bread product so we make them quite a lot The other thing I made that was requested was sourdough cinnamon scrolls so that was the same dough that you saw in the last video that we did overnight a rich dough that I let rise overnight and then shaped the next morning I used my homemade brown sugar and cinnamon for inside and some ghee rolled them up and let them rise and baked them the kids really enjoyed them So we got five loaves of this bread, four packets of these uh, burger buns, an entire box of these greeny dog chew treats, which will come in handy with our four dogs. We got a carton of these uh, kangaroo or kangaroo energy drinks. There's a whole carton there. A bag of frozen poached eggs and a bag of I'd say it's ham steaks they were frozen they're not frozen anymore so we'll stick them in the fridge and we'll probably fry them up tomorrow and a packet of some sort of plates they've got a free on them so it doesn't actually say what they are a bag of rice two pumpkins a box of these tortilla pockets and a whole box of bananas an entire box of these French dip Mar whatever they are French dressings something just a whole box of them here 
a box of apples, a pork porterhouse steak thing. Again, it was frozen, it's not anymore, so we'll probably cook that up for dinner tonight. And a packet of frozen chicken drumsticks. There's also a bag of these on the bag it says veggie so we assume that they're some sort of a veggie patty the kids could have them on hamburger buns for dinner there was a set a packet of these nacho cheese Dorito dips and a whole lot of these single serve uh, frozen meals there that are there there's some apple juice there's three of these one liters of apple juice a uh, long life milk as well. There's some baby items, some lamb and sweet potato there and some rice and corn puffs there. Some vitamin E creams and Sukin hand sanitizers. A kind immunity powder couple of cans of coke and some cola, some disinfectant wipes, dishwashing liquid, a couple of garlic aiolis and some white beans and some uh, some plant-based condensed milk, some spinach hot pot noodles and then a whole variety of other sources. We've got uh, ketchups and some buffalo sauces and more of that French dip and stuff that came all loose. Freeze-dried coffee, Pablo freeze-dried coffee and a box of Weepix. Um, and I think I already said the box of apples but a whole box of apples. So that was everything. We managed to get out in the garden a bit on Saturday. We have been trying to use our wood chips up and get the gardens cleaned up get as much weeds and grass and everything pulled out so Daryl did the asparagus bed for me on Saturday so it's very it has been very overgrown and badly needed to be pulled out before we cut all the asparagus back in winter so that we can amend that bed and feed the asparagus and it'll be our third year of having asparagus so we should get a whole lot of uh, spears that we can actually eat this year which will be really exciting we managed to get some of the wood chips down. Uh, the unfortunately, the wheelbarrow inner tube on the tire has the valve is broken, so we couldn't get it to hold air. So I'm going to have to get a new inner tube while I'm in Brisbane. And we did one little patch and then gave up trying to push the wheelbarrow across the sand without the uh, without the tire being full. So, but it shows how good it's going to look once we get it all done. Sunday we started out work on trying to get through some of the items from the hamper so one of the first things I made was some banana muffins they're just a basic muffin recipe with banana in them the kids really enjoy them though and that's the main thing For dinner that night I wanted to use up some of the bread that we got in the hamper so I made uh, fried eggs and bread. I hadn't realised that the kids had never had them before. We used to have them all the time when I was a kid. Uh, my uncle used to make them on the barbecue every Christmas morning breakfast and things like that but they hadn't had them before so it was something interesting for them and they enjoyed them along with the, some of the ham steaks fried up as well for breakfast for dinner.
and then I thought I'd share some sped up clips of the kids helping me bake today so this is Monday they were helping me bake chocolate chip banana bread again trying to get through some of the bananas and leaving them with some snacks before I go on my monthly trip and all the kids wanted to help which is more exasperating than it's helpful but at the same time it's good for them so I let them help but enjoy the you know hecticness of having four to six children wanting to help you bake a single item in a kitchen at any one time. I also used up some of the bananas to make some uh, smoothie pops for the kids. I did a couple of flavors. This one is uh, like a chocolate peanut butter type one. And I made normal berry smoothie ones with some mango and berry and that in it as well. And froze them all up so that they'd have them to eat while I'm gone as well. Thanks for coming along again on our vlogs of what we do and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time.